Have you ever wondered how a gladiator could rise above his status to challenge the might of the Roman Empire? In the heart of Rome, gladiators were both admired and despised. They were enthralling figures in the arena, their bravery and prowess admired by spectators. Yet they were also slaves, often condemned criminals or prisoners of war, living a ruthless and brutal life. The world of gladiators was a paradox. These fighters were celebrated for their courage, but they were also the lowest rung of society, seen as expendable entertainment. However, amidst this harsh reality, one gladiator dared to defy his destiny. His name was Spartacus. Unlike the majority of his comrades, Spartacus refused to accept the life that was thrust upon him. He yearned for freedom, not just for himself, but for all who were trapped in the cruel chains of oppression. Spartacus was not just another gladiator, he was a beacon of hope for all who were oppressed. Born into slavery, Spartacus was a man destined for arenas, not greatness. But destiny had other plans. Spartacus was born in Thrace, a region northeast of Greece, and was enslaved by the Roman Empire at a young age. His strength and courage led him to be trained as a gladiator, a brutal and dangerous career that offered a glimmer of respect, if not freedom. His skill in battle quickly gained him notoriety, yet he yearned for more than the fleeting glory of the arena. The yearning for freedom sparked a rebellion. Spartacus, along with 70 gladiators, escaped their training school and ignited what would be known as the Third Servile War. Spartacus demonstrated exceptional leadership skills, uniting thousands of slaves in a fight against their oppressors. His name became synonymous with resistance, challenging the might of the Roman Empire. Spartacus was not just a fighter in the arena, he was a fighter for freedom. In the face of a colossal empire, even the mightiest warriors can fall. Spartacus, the rebel gladiator, was no exception. His audacious uprising against the mighty Roman Empire ignited a flame of resistance, a flame that would soon be extinguished by the overwhelming might of Rome. The Roman response was swift and massive. Crassus, one of Rome's wealthiest men, took command of a force of 40,000 men, a force so vast it dwarfed Spartacus's ragtag army. The two forces met in a final decisive battle, a clash that would seal Spartacus's fate. Despite their bravery and determination, Spartacus and his men were outmatched. The battle was fierce and bloody, but the superior numbers and discipline of the Roman legions prevailed. Spartacus, the once unbeatable gladiator, met his end on the battlefield, his body never to be found. Spartacus fell, but not without leaving a mark on the sands of time. Despite his fall, his spirit of resistance would echo through the ages. A man's death can be the end of his life, but not the end of his influence. This rings true for Spartacus, a man whose legacy has echoed through the corridors of time. The rebellion he led was not just a challenge to Rome, it was a thunderous cry for freedom that reverberated across the empire, shaking its very foundations. His audacity to rise against the might of Rome left an indelible imprint on the Roman psyche. It exposed the vulnerability of the Roman slave system and sparked changes, leading to more humane treatment of slaves in the future. Over the centuries, the tale of Spartacus has been retold and remembered in countless ways, each version highlighting his courage and unwavering spirit. His story has become a beacon of inspiration, a symbol of resistance against oppression. Spartacus may have been a slave and a gladiator, but he will forever be remembered as a symbol of resistance and a champion of freedom.